So today I'm working on a citizen's band radio. CBs are an item you don't see that much anymore, but I remember as a kid how much fun they were and how popular they were. In fact, I'd call them the original chat room because you could get on one of these things and talk to complete strangers, make friends, and uh, well, they were just a lot of fun. Anyway, I happen to have this old one I never got rid of, and I went to go fire it up this morning, and I noticed I had a little problem. I'd push my microphone button down, and all I'd hear on a nearby receiver was a loud hum. I wasn't getting any sound through whatsoever. And I began thinking maybe I've got a bad microphone or maybe the contacts are corroded inside. I've seen that happen before where the little push switches inside the microphones would go bad because they had a multitude of normally open or normally closed switches. So when you push your microphone button down, sometimes there'd be too much corrosion inside. So I, I grabbed a couple different microphones, I put them on here, and that still didn't solve the problem. And I was thinking, well, maybe it's something that went kapooey in the uh, circuitry itself. And I'm looking it over and I realize, wait, there's some other areas I need to try cleaning up before I get carried away here. We've got two possibilities. We've got a PA switch that could interrupt the microphone contact. And we've also got a dynamite here. So I went and grabbed some of my electronic lubricant cleaner. And I sprayed down inside of the... Uh, switches here. I did it from the back side because you can't access it very well this way. And I, for example, this would be the equivalent of what I cleaned up here. I just sprayed down inside the contact on each switch and then I took the time to push the switch down a few times just to make sure the solvent kind of worked its way down into the switch. And lo and behold, after I was done, it got everything going. So all it took was just spraying the switches out and the variable resistors and that was it fully restored this thing back to where it's supposed to be. Anyway, I know I've talked about this before in a previous video, and I probably don't need to go over it too many times, but because I've seen this so often, I figured it wouldn't hurt to go over it one more time. Um, one other area I've seen this quite a bit are in the uh, tuner amplifiers that have the uh, mode select switch. You can switch from tape deck to phono or FM or whatever. A lot of times those would get corroded inside as well, so if you ever ever got a problem like this, you might consider the uh, electronic lubricant. Anyway, for what it's worth, hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I've got it going into a dummy load antenna here. That's my 50 ohm. 50 ohm resistor is essentially what's inside here. I think it's designed to handle about 50 watts or something like that.